My name is Olympia and this doesn't come natural to me. It has taken a lot of time, before, I've, perhaps too long, before I've had the courage to come up here and say what I have to say. Before SOAS, I was just a rowdy teenager <laughs> with a lot of thoughts and few tools to articulate them. SOAS has given me those tools, has taught me how to think, not what to think, has taught me how to speak, not what to say, has taught me how to open my eyes, not what to see. SOAS is a place where fervent political debate takes place. Yet I fear we have lost sight of just how, how important respect is in our politics. We need to tackle the adversarial mood of the UGMs, to think seriously about the implications of the current pro-con speaker format on our ability to voice nuanced opinions. Also, let's encourage questioning and deconstruction. Let's believe in what we have to say so honestly that we are able um, that we are able to withstand so-called unpopular opinions. When the JCR is busy, it is undeniably difficult to access, both mentally and physically, and that is something that necessarily limits the quality of our debate and our democracy. Also, let's be real, a piece of paper is not going to ensure our safe spaces. What makes spaces safe is ourselves, as spears, as a united student body, in a time when welfare is being cut and we are me being treated as mere £9,000 vouchers. Um, <laughs> My job as your co-president of Democracy in Education would be to provide support. You want to organize a protest? I'll give you a megaphone. You want to organize the revolution? I'll print your flyers. Um, this is the same support that has got me through being captain of the women's football team and allowed us to go so far. <laughs> and it is this support that I'm willing to provide to all students for their democratic struggles. <sighs> London is a constantly changing city. If SOAS wants to take itself seriously as a university, it needs to keep up and extend its library opening hours, a suggestion that goes hand in hand with the 24-hour tube surface opening in September. <laughs> Students who have full-time jobs should be able to access the library as, as much as anyone else. And uh, the argument that there's no funding just doesn't do it for me. Funding isn't an issue, prioritizing is. Um, yeah. Also, in our current education in in system, in the name of fairness, <laughs> A hypothetical fish and a hypothetical monkey are asked to take the same exam, that is, to climb a tree. Now, I don't need to tell you which one of the two is going to do better. Having been involved with ADD and helping first years uh, wrap their heads around essays, I can't begin to overstress just how well the current marking system, in the name of fairness, is masking a tremendous injustice, both for postgrad and undergraduate students. We need a diverse assessment method that values all forms of excellence. If elected co-president, I'd ensure that all students, new and old, loud and quiet, get their chance at having a say, and decide for themselves what form this may take. I'd love to give all students the same support and tools that have given me the confidence and courage to come up here tonight and tell you what I know I can contribute to our student union. Thank you.